if that nose wheel uh, strut is leaking hydraulic fluid or e even nitrogen or air, it might be time to consider overhauling it. So let's follow through and see if we can give you a hand. Here's what it looks like sitting on the bench waiting for you to tear into it. And here's where we separate the knees by removing the bolt. Here you remove the axle and the fork assembly from the piston by totally removing the one single bolt and loosening the two at the top there. Using your rubber hammer hitting the uh, fork assembly and uh, driving it off the piston. It's slow, it moves very slow, but it, it'll do, it'll work. I should point out that the uh, notch in the casting there is not uh, for a spanner wrench. And uh, we'll show you in the next slide what that actually is for. That notch is so you can stick a, a small flat bladed screwdriver or an awl to uh, squeeze out that retainer ring. And there's the retainer ring. With the retainer ring out, now you can pull the piston out of the cylinder completely. At the other end you have the Schrader valve and the nut that holds the spacer bar inside the cylinder. Looking into the strut you can see the piston there with the two orifice holes which is uh, behind the theory of how these uh, struts operate. Remove the plate number 32 and the spacer number 35 with a wrench at one end and a socket at the other. According to the beach engineering drawings, the blue washer that you're looking at there is incorrect. The uh, proper one is a thread seal and when mounting it, the uh, washer AN960-516L goes underneath the nut and above the washer. Once again we have those mysterious looking blue o-rings possibly out of Teflon which the engineering drawings do not show. The proper ones are uh, next slide here. There's a Teflon hydraulic piston ring the part number and the o-ring which goes underneath it or beneath it are the proper ones. When uh, installing the uh, o-ring made out of Teflon the uh, process is to soak it in about 150 degree water for about five minutes that'll soften it up enough so that you can install it properly but you have to be careful that you don't let it rotate or twist and it remains square with the whole the slot that it goes in with a pair of husky uh, snap ring pliers Remove the uh, retainer item 23, which we normally call snap ring. This will give you access and to allow you to remove the collar item number 26 and allow inspections of the bearings and fittings in that area. You're looking at the piston and the bronze bearing along with its o-ring seal. The next slide will uh, identify the seals better. These o-rings and seals are all mounted on that bronze uh, bearing. The outside o-ring 
is mounted on the outside groove that you can see there. The inside O-ring is a wiper and of course that goes uh, inside the bearing and uh, it has to go in a proper direction so be careful of that. The uh, inside O-ring, the one at the bottom there, uh, is living proof that this strut needed to be overhauled. That is the destroyed O-ring. The uh, ball bearings are uh, for inspection only. It's a standard Fafner bearing and in our case it looked really clean and good to go. Here we remove the plug item number 10 and drive it out using a, uh, a wooden dowel or something similar from the other end and knocking that uh, plug right out of the uh, piston. Here's a look of uh, the plug number 10 and its O-ring. Uh, after, re after you replace the O-ring, we highly recommend that you put that plug back in, not from this end of the piston, but from the other far end, and lubricate everything real well with your 5606, and push that plug down the whole direction, the whole length of that piston. If you were to uh, replace the O-ring on that plug and lubricate it very well with 5606 and push it back in the cylinder from the same end you took it out of, uh, you're guaranteed to have it fail because as the O-rings pass by the two bolt holes in the piston, the uh, two holes will literally shave some of that O-ring off and you'll have a definite leak there. Next, following the instructions in the maintenance manual, you can uh, measure the uh, ID and the OD of the piston and make sure it meets the uh, tolerance.